Welcome back from that commercial break, everybody. My name's Bob Ninja Goldfish, and I'm going to be hosting for this Taskbot block. Well, Taskbot game run. You can never quite tell with Taskbot. We have a $20 donation from Sharky, who says, This game has a bow and a bracelet. How about a raft and a whistle? Or a tried course? Game looks fun. Thanks for showing it off. And if you are looking to help out the marathon, there are many ways you can do it by going to rpgpondlimitbreak.com slash donate. Donating some money there. You can head over to the yeti.com. That's the what, yeti as in y-e-t-e-e.com slash rpglb. Buying yourself a snazzy looking t-shirt, four dollars of which from each t-shirt will be donated towards RPG Limit Break. And even if you can't afford to do any of that, just tweet about us, talk about us on social media, Use the hashtag RPG Limit Break, RPG LB 2019, and uh, make the, the stream and try and bring in some fresh eyes because we've had a bunch of new viewers this week, and that's awesome. And we want to share the good words of RPGs and Nami. Hi, Modori Master. The next is Final Fantasy. This is a case of 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 ますかえー、ボイスチャットの方の解説の方はまだいらっしゃらないので、まあ、そちらの方でやっていただける方も引き続き募集していますので、えー、よろしくお願いいたしますえー、っと、次の、えー、FF のカテゴリーは、ノーメモリーコ,コラプションノーリセットで、えー、メモリー、あの、セーブ破壊と、えー、塩化リセなしだそうです。以前ちょっと、中さんとお話しして、まあ、そのよう、そのようなカテゴリーだと聞いているので、多分そうだと思います。どうなんでしょうあ、おはようございます。どうなんでしょうね。うん、私も、FF、はい、初、初代 FF はやったことがないので、動画も全然見たことないので、ちょっとわからないんですが、予定タイムは1時間20分となっております。Big shout outs to all the folks watching foreign languages and enjoying the run alongside us. えー、っと、次の、えー、多数 FF ですが、ちょっと、えー、飛び入りで、えー、ボイスチャットの方で解説できるという方がいらっしゃったので、えー、その方の、えー、対応に行ってまいります。では、ちょっとしばし失礼します。
it was gracious enough to donate up to us in the last run. So it's about time for us to give another massive shout out to LLK. She's a long-time contributor to both GDQ Marathons and here at RPG Limit Break. She's the designer of our promo banners, our attendee badges, and a whole bunch of our emotes. If, we want to check, if you want to check out more of her work, head over to jazzaboo.com. That's J-A-Z-A-A-B-O-O.com. Well, it is time for us to submit to our Taskbot overlords. But again, as we have discovered in the past, Taskbot will not go to work unless he's sufficiently energized by everybody in the room. So let's hear a lot of noise for Dwango and the crew with the Taskbot. Thank you, thank you, guys. Normally, uh, normally at no, this no, phase... No, hey, 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 we can do better than that, guys. Come on. Oh, really? あ、すいませんちょっと。え、解説の方はちょっと準備がができていないので時間がかかっておりますので、え、解説の方はちょっとしばらくお待ちください。今別のモデレーターが対応中なので。はい。Jire, I am Duango AC. You might have seen me do other stuff with Taskbot. I am Taskbot's keeper, but he does all the fun stuff for me. Uh, we are here in, uh, in, in this area just so they can crop the TV. I'm going to turn this off. Now, the very first thing I have to do before we start this run is I have to clear the console memory. And the reason I have to do this is because the task is expecting everything to be in a very, very specific order. And so you guys can see what's going on. I've got a visualization board. This is actually the wrong one. We have NES ones. Uh, packing problems mean that all I have are the Super Nintendo variety, but it's fine. Nothing big going on there. All I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn off this console, swap this cartridge <laughs> with this copy of Final Fantasy. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll, have, we'll, we'll start time. So be prepared, guys. Here goes. You didn't see that. <laughs> I've never done it backward. Uh, all right. So three... Two, one, go. <laughs> 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 and so it begins. <laughs> so big thanks to everyone who donated for names. As you can see, we have Dan in our party. Uh, because there's always Dan. Uh, Spud, Siri, and Ori. <laughs> And you will find out eventually who wins, who lives. <laughs> One of them will live, and at thank least. Thank you very much for everybody that did donate for the names, as well as for playing for four white mages, which is going to be a very interesting run. Yes. Yes. So from here on out, I'm mostly going to be letting them take over commentary, but I want to talk really quick about what we just saw there. The name entry we di did through a script that the Axeman wrote that helped us to auto automatically generate a movie file in an emulator that... Uh, we then dumped to the right format that Taskbot needs, which took three minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> this run is an hour and... Hour and uh, 17 minutes? Yeah, that's what I think, yeah, an hour and 17 minutes. Uh, the whole process took three minutes. So <laughs> when you fast forward an emulator, it can be quite, quite a bit quicker. So that's how we got the names in, and everything synchronizes uh, as long as no one touches this table and static shocks it. So <laughs> <laughs> electrostatic discharge in a 
dry climate such as the one we find ourselves in today, not so good for consistency. So at this point, I'm going to hand it over to them for commentary on what exactly is happening to Garland right now. He, he's going to get beat down with our hammers. Um, but you notice that we only got three hammers. And that's because one of our white mages isn't going to get to use it. Um, we're going to run with some of them because, well, and one person dies, unfortunately. Sorry, Ori. But, um, <laughs> so the reason why we have to um, have this unfortunate uh, death is because we need, in order to get enough experience for this level up, we need to have one person die. The experience is split between the, the uh, all of your surviving characters. So having fewer characters alive means more experience for everyone else. It also means with fewer characters, less actions to input each round, That's less right. animations that take place. Like there's a lot of advantages, and you'll see that a lot of this run is done with very, very small numbers of characters, in fact. Yeah. So we're going to have to run from a lot of battles, and every time we have to tell every surviving character, run, run, run. Well pretty soon now it's only run 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 you might guess it's probably gonna become run run will it go to just run <laughs> it might you'll have, to, you'll have to tune in to find out <laughs> all um, right so why did we walk all the way out of the castle we're trying to save some steps so um, there's a step counter that determines when you get into the random battles and around Conaria there's a whole bunch of, uh, of squares that don't have encounters so we're trying to get onto those so that we have um, our step counter kind of not as far in this list that gets us our next random encounter. And both Dragon Warrior and Final Fantasy have roughly a 50% encounter rate around the starting zone. The way Final Fantasy did it was basically half the squares are going to be marked as safe squares. We'll talk about safe squares throughout the run a lot, pointing out where they're taking advantage or not taking advantage, interestingly, of safe squares as you travel throughout there. Dragon Warrior did the opposite approach, which just said that for certain zones, the encounter rate is simply one half per each check that it was going to do. And those are both equally interesting approaches from a casual gameplay, but for a Taz, it means you can do very different things when you have a 0% chance of something taking place. That's right. So we're running through these enemies. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of running. And a lot of these encounters don't matter so much early on just because we can easily run from all these fights. Um, there is a flag that determines that uh, means some encounters cannot be run from. We're going to be talking about that later. Um, next up, we've got the pirates fight. So there are nine of them. And there's only three of us. So we're going to have to hit every time in order to make this work. And to make it so that we um, mm -hmm. uh, get this fight fast, we've got to hit them and take them out before they attack us, avoiding a little animation. Before they the same time, you notice Dan. He's looking a little low here. I've got a lot of in Dan. Dan is a survivor. He is. I I think <laughs> I think Dan might survive a little while. Maybe one more round. Maybe maybe long enough just to get this next. Ah, four people. So that means the next this battle done in one more round. Nah, well, one of the things that you've done for this optimization is the turn order. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you knew it was coming. <laughs> you knew it was coming. One of the things you've done for turn order is that the way that turn order works for Final Fantasy is ah, two are dead. 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 And it's a little bit unfair because you start at the bottom. It doesn't do enough swap to do a truly fair shuffle, and so you always have a little bit of a disadvantage for your party going first. And that's obviously. Tonal to, 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 as you move the cursor, the RNG is changing, so I have to account for how long it takes to move the cursor every time I'm ch checking one of these possibilities. Um, I let the script run for a while, and it tells me, do this, do this, wait so many times, and... Uh, and it's like it's like like that. That. In battle, it's going to advance the RNG. It's going to advance the RNG. It's going to advance the RNG. As you'll see throughout some of these fights, where you notice that oh, there's a bit of a delay, or a really long delay in some cases for these things. That's the reason why. And there's 256 values that the random number generator can have for its state. So worst case scenario, you're waiting through almost 512 frames, which is about eight and a half seconds that you might have to set through. But ideally, 
if you're chaining these fights together, you know, it's a little slight pause for that second run command right yeah. there. Ideally, you're making that a very ah, fun. Yeah, more than that, so you speed on us. To reduce the delay that you have in the later fight. Yeah. Um, another thing, when we're running from all these fights, I got another script that kind of figures out how do I run from all these enemies. Um, まあ、操作は全部人力じゃなくてタスボット君がやるんでしょうね。So there's a few variables to consider. So you know there's preemptive attacks. Do you like getting preemptive attacks when you're doing a speed run? 船が2倍で飛行船が4倍ですか。えー、そんな早いんだ。That's right. It takes about、uh, the, this message that flashes up saying preemptive. It takes about 10 or 12 frames, and this is a task. So we don't want we don't want to wait when we don't have to. So we actually avoid preemptive encounters, even though you can run 100% of the time. Well, I can run 100% of the time because I can just manipulate the luck to do it. <laughs> All right. So, Speaking of manipulation, so we're in the first of our areas that is going to have bats, and bats for a speed run are always like a terrible thing because they get in your way. You're trying to get very careful on your step route, of course, because you don't want to take extra steps throughout here. So you're having to wait. For them to patiently move out of there or push them very slightly, what are you doing in the paths for the bat manipulation? So let me say they're also annoying in the task, <laughs> but that annoyance is only when on the creation side. So、um, what we're doing to get rid of these bats is we're manipulating their movement. Now the movement of the bats is actually far more random than the actual battle RNG.、Um, Because of how the bats move,、uh, every time an enemy or every time one of these NPCs moves,、uh, they sort of are the real enemies.、Um, every time one of them they move, they set an, inc uh, uh, an, an, an accumulator sort of、uh, set up.、Uh, it's very,、um, very random. Very butterfly effect type of、um, RNG. And one of the ways we can manipulate it is maybe pausing a frame just before going up uh, into the stairs. Uh. Uh, ah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I didn't have to pause. Maybe I figured out some other effect, which includes touching them to make them go faster.、Hmm. So this fight, even for a task, we're pushing it pretty close. We've got two white mages, and these wizards hit pretty hard. Sorry, Spud. Oh, I don't think Spud was so much a meat shield as just a. Oh, never mind. Yeah.、Oh. So Spud had to take a hit so that Siri could get. <laughs> So that Siri could get the、uh, the ruse spell off. That ruse spell we bought in the first、oh, round. Ah, three people died. What it does is it increases your evade stat. This is wizard can't really hit us. So now we can basically go to town on them. This is not easy. It's going to take a few hits, and so、um, we really need that ruse spell in order to get them missing, get those hits in. この先どうなってしまうんだ。And we can do twenty-six, thirty or so. I think it's thirty max with our hammer here. So it's going to take three hits. シリシリさんすごく頑張ってますね。And that's two wizard beaten with two white mages. いやあ、まあいいですね。全く当たらない。あ、勝ちました。すごいな。<笑>素晴らしい。これは強運ですよ。タスボットと GDQ モニター、GDQ モニターは少し、ままあ、そう、平時に世界を救って。あの、ね、なかなか難しいですね。There are a lot of people who have claimed her.、Uh, do we have any donation incentives while we're backtracking? Or no, I mean donation comments. Well, we do have this one donation.、Hmm. <laughs> yes.、Um, from a certain Duango AC <laughs> for $951. This donation is on behalf of everybody that donated to NAMI during Desert Tesla Charity Drive. 150ドルの寄付が入ったみたいです。So some context around that. I、uh, I got really lucky one year with、uh, selling some Bitcoin and bought a Tesla.、Uh, very brief moment of、uh, of of very nice nice、uh, profitability, but it didn't last very long. But it was long enough to buy a Tesla. So I decided, hey, I've got a Tesla. Let me. 150円じゃないです。ドルドルドルです。150ドルです。150円。<笑> 
150円ではないです。Often while also playing a rando,、uh, so we applied crowd control to the car. So <laughs> while we were driving, people were tuned in, watching the live stream for up to, it took us 16 hours. Donate was while they were もうすぐ7万ドルいきそうですね And as a result, they made $951 of direct donations、uh, directly to Nami、uh, through through the tracker、uh, or a tracker that we're Also, listing here as part of this event, and additionally made another contribution that you saw maybe earlier in this week that was for the bits and、uh, subscriptions <laughs> that happened on Twitch as part of that. All told,、uh, people donated over $1,500 to Nami during that drive, and I want to tell everyone who participated in that thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in at Pass.Bot、uh, for that. And, uh, 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 are you up to doing it again? <laughs> I mean, they cranked our temperature to 180 degrees. That, that was definitely an experience. <laughs> <Yeah> . Anyway, uh, but th that's the end of me ranting about that. It, but it was a great opportunity for us to do just a little bit more、uh, on our way here for Nami. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, One of these interesting technical achievements that you kind of see around Duango. If you ever get a chance to watch his stream, please do. <laughs> there, are, there is another one if you don't mind me getting a couple more in. Go for it. Okay. Okay, this is from our very own The Sid here on site, who donates $60 and says, Hey everyone, it's time for my yearly donation. I love all of you and I'm so happy to be here with everybody. As help at the end of the day, I'm going to be here. すごいなさすがだな Events like this came along in a dark time for me after my elder brother Will passed away the person I took the screen name The Sid from This is a memory of him My wife is always big bro Will I love you all and I hope you're enjoying this event For we love you too Sid うんだけやねいや、うんも実力のうちって言いますから Because we're a white mage and we really need every level we can get. <laughs> so it wasn't a lot of experience, but it's enough for our level up here. Another point about the level ups so, when you get a level up,、um, every class has certain stats that they get on certain levels.、Um, a white mage conveniently gets intelligence every level up. What does intelligence do, Jair? It does absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the white mage. Um, you know, if you have a fighter, he gets strength every level. It's great.、Um, and because strength makes your attack power, every two strengths, you get a point of attack power. And when you have to fight the bosses、um, one hit at a time, that strength is really useful. So the, the white mage only gets strength on a few level ups. However, when you don't get that guaranteed strength, there's still a 25% chance you could get it. えっと、解説の方、えー、ピンクパジャマさんという方がですね、えー、解説に来てくださるんですが、えー、もう少しで来れそうなので、もうしばらくお待ちください。And right now we're just in a fetch quest sequence, so maybe Duango, this would be a great time for you to talk a little bit about Taz videos and what a Taz is. All right, so what you're watching is I'm going to start with what a tool assisted speedrun is. And、uh, to do that, I'm going to go way back hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking, but I'm not.、Uh, it turns out that there is some prior art that's very similar to a tool assisted speedrun, and it's a player piano. Back in the day, people used to build very、uh, elaborate machines that automatically played music. and By the 1920s, it was really common to have what was called a player piano. It was just a piano that you could accept a piano scroll, usually paper with punched holes in it, that would play through and play a sequence of notes that, as the scroll continued to 
unravel and unroll. It would play through the entire sequence of a song. どうなんでしょうね。ああ、多分ピンクパジャマさん現地ですね。あのー、確か。何かのゲームの解説をこう演技を解説を現地でされてましたよね。現地の英語解説をされてたので、多分現地にいますよ。あと、えっ、ー、と、リストリームの上の小石さんも現地でボランティアやってますね。Perfectly, as much as possibly, perfectly emulates all, all of the hardware inside of that real console. The video pro,、uh, processing unit, the,、uh, the PPU, the audio processing unit, all of the characteristics of the hardware as accurately as possible. And in addition, there's some extra fun things because the, each cartridge often had different mappers, extra chips that were included in the cartridge that also have to be properly emulated. And with an accurate enough emulator, it's possible to take. Something that was recorded, a sequence of button presses that was recorded in an emulator, and play them back on a console. Now, what I do with TaskBot is not what the majority of people do on Task videos. Most people on Task videos never touch a physical console other than generally legally owning the cartridge. Eh, 解説は TaskBot が何百年前も前に解説発明されたと言っています。まあ、自動、確かに、楽器の自動演奏とかも、まあ、多数といえば多数ですよね。<笑><笑>そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、And when it's in that environment, you have full control of the entire system. You can see memory values. You can see every last register of the, of the processor. You can see every value you might have. Oh, well, thank you. Now, TASBOT is the Final Fantasy. You looked specifically to see if a particular enemy could be、uh, run, if you could run away from a particular enemy.、Uh, well, because we can disassemble effectively the game, we can figure out. 白馬同士かわいいですよね。確かにこの戦闘不能の状態がこけてるみたいっていうのはわかります。あとは、その、なんかあれですよね。その、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なん If you don't die and you like your progress, you can save that state and keep going. You can always back up to an earlier point at any time. So there's no risks in trying anything new or exotic. You can try every strategy that would possibly be so far buried in the game that it would be difficult to,、uh, to execute. So, one of the beautiful things about being able to use an emulator to, to play through a game is you can completely eliminate human. Well, challenges like skill, reflexes, luck, especially this game. <laughs>、um, you don't have to worry about any of those things because if anything goes wrong, you can always back up and try a different sequence of events. That doesn't mean that it's, is, that it's easy, it just means that it's possible. You have the tools that allow you to do amazing things, but with those tools come a lot of time investment. And oftentimes, one of the characteristics that we use to define how much effort went into a tool assisted speedrun is how many times you had to back up and try another segment again. We call those re records. And、uh, what was the re record account on this particular run?、Um, 10,000 or so. Yeah, 10,000 re records、yeah. is pretty,、yeah. pretty common. <laughs> I, I topped 100,000 on Crystal as easy. You also worked on that run for how many years? Oh, yeah, <laughs> at least two or three, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, That process of making a tool assistant speedrun of a game, it, it's not fast. What you see here is what I call a work of art. And I, I really consider tool assistant speedruns to be a work of art. It's something that has been chiseled at over time, perfected, 
えっと、ローカライズで管理はいいこう。2人階属。ミゲットとポイントウェアサムタイムスエスカーニワイゴ。ミゲットとポイントウェアサムタイムスエスカーニワイゴ。ミゲットとポイントウェアサムタイムスエ
そ,そのエンカウントは大変なので、えー、先生攻撃です。また、戦争へ攻撃でした。えー、それは乱数でに逃げられないと、逃げると、逃げられると、えー、ちょっとその前のウルフのエンカウンターで、乱数を調整したかった。それが、えー、先制攻撃のためです。そして次のシャドウのエンカウンターで、それがかなりやばいエンカウンターなので、そのウルフのエンカウンターで乱数を調整しました。えー先制攻撃されている確率は 90% だからね。<笑>高いですね。そうだね。えっと、魔法については、えー、ハームとルーズの魔法。を、えー、買いました、えー。それ、前に見たことはルーズです。それは、えー、回避率2段階を上げるためです。その前のウィザードのエンカウンターで、えー、2回。一回一回か二回を使ってそれで、えー、全部の攻撃が回避できます。あ、プリンク。プリンクですか。まあ、このゲームの日本語版はプレイしたことないのでその方の名前は知りません。そしてそのハーム・アーム・トゥ・マホは、えっと、えっ、ー、と、アンデッドの敵しかダメージ与えない。そして、えー、この、洞窟の2人のボスもうアンデッドなのでハームでダメージを与えます。そうだね、えー、シルマード氏は金づちを使えるので、えー、こでダメージで使います、えー、クリティカルが出てればそれは防御無視なので、えー、確定でそしてランスにダメージは関係ないし全前回同じダメージですね。えっと、今は、えー、長い道をとって、それは、えー、エンカウンターを、えー、逃げられないエンカウントを回避する,だするためです。そのウィザードのエンカウンターからは逃げられないので、えー I think we're going to see some of it later, hopefully. I hope so. So, coming up, we have one thing that happens in the real time speedruns as well. Oh, which is FF7 the remake. The third floor and the fourth floor of this dungeon. That's right. And they happen to not align to where they are. There's in the encounter. まあ今はちょっとね、えー、FF 初代 FF をやってるのでね。逃げられない敵っていうのは、えー、素早さが高いから逃げられないとかそういう理由があるんですかね
システム的に不可能なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。ああ、なるほど。下階段へ下がって、下がって、エンカウントを取って、そして階段登って、またエンカウンターを取って、それはそのウィザードのエンカウンターを回避するためです。そしてゲーム的にそのヴァンパイア吸血鬼を倒して、えー、ル,ルビーをもらってまたブロードを手に入れてそれは普通のプレイで必要なのでそれはキーアイテムのものですからなそのブロードを使えない限りを拾わない限り、この洞窟からは通りません。えー、どうぞ、これはリッチーのリッチーです。またあの、えー、これは一つ目のボスです、えー。最初はハーム1を使って、それはそのアイスのダメージは低いようにします。えー、ハーム2を使って、それは、えー、高いダメージのランスをで、えー、倒しますその移、えー、り攻撃入ったらそれ、えー、その後ろまどしは死ぬのでリッチを魔法を使いたいですそしてダメージのイーランスとダメージ与え,与えられたランスその両方のいいランスはないので一発目は弱い方へ行きますそしてそ,その残りの2ターンで、えー、無意味のあの魔法はリッチを使いますのでそこからのランスです。Some of this you can actually apply to real runs as well, which is kind of the cool part of RP speed runs. Is you tend for final time, so stay cool game. Jitta de Richi o Tao Stara Kono Tsugino Machini Ite from the Taz. A lot of the things that were really no Bama, no Namao Okaranai Kedo, Sora Kanu o Moraima, Sore de Kawa de. 行くようになりますそして次のは一番強いのできる時です。そして
the performance of a human runner. They're not the same art artwork. They're a totally different class of, of work of art. But as tool-assisted content has been labeled properly, so especially with Bizquit, who in previous videos, which became Task Videos, started to make sure that it was really good markers on every single video to say, hey, this is where you can find more information about this is. This was made with tools. With that in place, えっと、タスジェナイのRTAではこの氷の洞窟 はかなりやばいです。そのソーサラストーサーという敵があって、え、と、うん。はい、え、エンカウンターは逃げられないエンカウンターだけです。うん、え、その、ランスで0が、ミツがあります。そしてゼロの方はえ、ま、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
数字じゃなくて、文字が限られているの、限られているし、えー、その、ボホルダーと、という名前が使えなるのかった。そうだね、飛行石をもらいました。それはフローターです。石です。その石をもらって、あるその石を使って、それは飛行船。その飛行船を思われます。そして、この下にエンカウンターをもらって、それは、これはこの部屋,この部屋で、そのウィザードのエンカウンターがあるので、その北で違うエンカウンターから逃げた。このゲームは、ラン通常性で。ラン通常性で。ラン通常性で。ラン通常性で。えー、それとも、レギュレーションとして、えー、ノーリセット。それは、リセはできない。えー、普段リリセ、リセットできるのなら、のレギュレーションがあれば、それは、この、これは少しずつリセットできます。すぐリセットして、すぐ、そのカラスすぐ、えー、ここに行くと、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、すぐ、はその理由はまたエンカウンター、次のエンカウンターが欲しかった。それは、えー、次のところの調整するためです。えー、船の方が早いので、えー、そこで、そこから。の調整、船から調整する方が早いです。とこのゲームとしては、その砂漠の、えー、商人の,のところは、なぜなら着地。えーで,できます。そして、そのボトルを色があります。その氷の洞窟である部屋に金を宝箱から金をもらって、それが。そこからカメラを稼ぎました。そしてそのボトルで寄せを。そして、そのボトルで寄せを。
down four saying. times and something like that, you would you wouldn't want to press down, let go, down, let go, down, down. That would take longer. It, if you said down, oh, right, down, right, down, you, if you walked it over. You say me, do you? Because you get a new action every single time. Do you need him? Have to wait for the button release. All right, so we're walking through the future. Might but, uh, of the game. It's got the best music. Talk show item or more text. So they were. Kono. Abilities kind of branch out very well for the first time. Kono dungeon. に行くためです。そして、握りの方にはまた特殊アイテムがアイテムがあります。その特殊のアイテムは必要なので、そしてまた。長い道を選びます。それは、え、あるエンカウンターは、逃げられないので、そのエンカウンターを回避するためです。その、赤いサハグとミザードサハグは逃げられない。なぜならそのなぜならそのエンカウンターがパイレッツに接続している。なぜ接続している。で、パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレット。パイレ
once we have a way to instantly kill bosses, it's going to be a little bit different for the setup. But you just have a white mage and a silver hammer. That's this right. is going to take a really long time, isn't it, to beat this guy? That's right. Are we going to count it down? How many is it going to take? <laughs> Let's look at how much damage we do in each hit. And because um, I can tell you, the RNG cycle takes just about as long. The entire RNG um, cycle no, lasts about as long for each round. Yeah, no um, Kanazuchi Dake de Kraken o Tosu. Wa kanari ichikan kakarimasu. Okay, so Kraken's got 800 hit points. That's right. Kyu Tan no critical. Out of those 256 values, three of those 256 is going to get critical. Oh, boy, so we're going to need a critical at every single time here. I'm just going to space these out. Also, go to Kraken. Meanwhile, you've got Kraken. Kraken is the ink. So, it is divided by 32. It is divided by 32. あ、そのすみ。あ、ちょっと who says、I Let's get a new donation PB. So Yeah, one more round for Izure. Yeah. I love you. ファイター。2人を使います。そして4人目は死んだ状態。その人は通常ダンの名前です。その4人の名前はエイスピルカウントダンそれはABCDのそして の名前のようです。そしてDのと、それはダン。え、まあ、いわゆる Obviously, it's hard to set up. Kraken got that pattern happening. You know, to exploit it, particularly in these long boss fights. That's something I want to touch on, unless there's something else you need to talk about oh, game-wise for a moment. There's an interesting little bit about what exactly constitutes tool-assisted speedrunning, and where you put that line. One of the things that is interesting about what he just said is 
ここで、えー、メニューを,メニューをしますね。そのメニューを使って、その、えー、NPC の動きが調整できます。えっ、ー、と、このタッキーのところに、特殊アイテムがあります。それは英語版でキューブです。それはティアマットの自然で行けるような特殊アイテムです。NPC の動きを調整で、この扉を開けて、今すぐそのロボットからキューブをもらいます。その次のマスには、えー罠のエンカウンターがあります。まあ、逃げられるエンカウンターなんだけど、やはり避けられるのなら避けたいものです。その部屋に何かを置いて、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、この方が早いです。この部屋にリボンとディフェンスという武器があって、それはそのルーズ回避の魔法を。<笑>そのディフェンスの剣を使って、そのルーズという魔法として使います。リボンの方は防御だし、えー、部のえー、属性の防御です。そして今、カヌーを使って、川何回入って、何回、えー。登ってそれはその一歩入るか登る一歩でエンカウンターしないのでそしてその NPC を動かせる理由は、ウン先生の動きを調整するためです。その,その人を押せば押すのは調整です。もうすぐ、えー、なんだっけゾンブルという敵があります。この敵は逃げられない。えー、そしてこの敵がを倒すにはその。明治のスタッフを拾ったためです。おー、そして
Rufane goal. That is incredible, guys. Um, it's okay, Ryu. This has been an insane experience. Uh, so, have we been here? Have you been here as with Passbot to RPG Limit Break before? Yeah, this is our first appearance at an RPG Limit Break, and I'd love to make it a yearly thing. If we can continue to find tool-assisted speedruns that are acceptable to the event, I'd like to do it again. This has been, quite honestly, one of the most successful runs I think we've ever had. <laughs> Uh, th this is the first time at an RPG. Obviously, we've been to a lot of other types of events. Uh, one of the things that we obviously need in order for Taskbot to, be able to play at one of these events is for more people like the Axe to put in the hours of work that it takes to create the content that we need. And obviously, one of the things that's really important to me is attribution. It's very difficult, oftentimes, to when there's only a couple of minutes total to say anything. And in fact, I apologize for how much I have manipulated the commentary and taken time from these two explaining the game in order to say all the things I've never been able to say at a Games Done Quick event about how this stuff works. Um, but there's rarely enough time to say everything. One of the things that's always a challenge is making sure that the effort that the original author put in is properly praised because it's a truly magnificent amount of work. It's it's surprising how many hours you can put into it. I've personally completed a fair number of tool-assisted speedruns. I hope to at some point fully complete NetHack. We've been working on the NetHack tool-assisted speedrun since 2010. So we've been working on it for nine years. Uh, we're trying to get the whole thing down to uh, at, at the very least 2004 in-game turns. Uh, which is no only four after <laughs> bare minimum. Tasu yo ten, you might imagine has been a real chore. Um, I can tell you it's a lot of work. And, uh, I really do want to say, if you are interested in helping us make content for these types of events. If you have the bug to, to learn the tools, so there's a full community out there. Manga there are so to sure tools to figure out manga how to disassemble the game. Manga it sounds scary. Whole... It's not as bad as it might seem. Uh, Just pay me on Discord. Yep. There's the task videos de... Discord, and there's also a Taskbot Discord for the yeah, console. Kanari... I'm going to hand it back over to these guys, because there's stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Blue Dragon yes. here. Uh, luckily, he's also weak to fire, so Mace Tap, another good use here. But this is your first time using Mute, isn't it, during the run? That's right. So this guy, he hits hard. He, um, even at, and even so at, at the end, you still got a difficult, so... え、またメージスタフを使って全体。え、魔法を使わせて。ゼンカイ。Yes, it is time for the Bane Sword, and so this is an item which will cast Bane when used in combat. Bane is an instant-down-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based-based
or right. Yeah. As long as you get to the yeah, other teleporter. Anticore. It doesn't matter. Pick the direction. Unless you're playing the randomizer. Then, then you might have some other places to find it. <laughs> um, yeah, and also the Final Fantasy 1 randomizer. It's a, it's a really great one. Um, I hope uh, they get to... えっと、前に言ったことはランスが200個、50、6個。から、え、が入ったら何でも。え、攻撃何でも。タイムアップ。そうですね。Warmack. Yeah, it turns out you can run. I, I was, so I was making sure I understood more of the mechanics of this game. <laughs> I was back when I was a kid, finished it years ago. Um, just didn't get as much chance to do it as I would have liked to do this And uh, I got Warmack. Ichino... <laughs> <laughs> そのゼロが入ったら入ってもえ、便の剣が、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー、えー
放送部します、えー、そしてこのフィアルという魔法を変えます、えー、これは必要ではないけど面白いから面白いものをしますので<笑>使います。<笑>えっと、まあ、一旦のはその3分の256のランスで、えー、この人は、もう That k e de t a k e de Sokshi Atamas Kento, Sono Sensei Kogeki no Ho, Wa Sono Zero Mitsu Kara, Stotsu Dake Ga Sensei Kogeki, Sono Nihaku Goju Rok Kara no. ランスの数字から一つだけで一つの数字だけでこれができます I don't know, I'm just expecting shenanigans personally. <laughs> well, why would you expect that? <laughs> <laughs> Call it a gut feeling? So we got an unrunnable here. And so, our bane sword is quick care of it. Um, I'm going to go to the dungeon here. We visited a town. とこれをワームを倒す理由は逃げられないエンカウンターがいくつありますのでしかたなく一つの逃げられないエンカウンターを取ります。<笑>えっと、そのエンカウンターを取ってこれはタスなので同じ策で進みます。この256からの一つでのベインツールギベインソールを使って即死を与えます。そしてこの。Prime spot there that we have to be on everyone、uh, for these fiends. So we're going to have to a little wait、uh, to get that RNG because there's not many、um, random encounters to cycle that、uh, RNG up to it. And that's also going to be a problem because after this fight, the run through the show is going to be a little bit of it happening. And you're forced to be on a certain part of the RNG for the other one encounter as well. That's right. Saku Yori challenge getting back to a good kind of game. その256のランスを回すためには約8秒半かかります。最低として
その以下の末しかないです。ワーベックは今日は 75% で、ワーベックは今日は 75% で、ワーベックは今日は 75% で、ワーベックは今日は 75% で、ワーベックは今日は 75% で、ワーベックは今日は 75% で、ワーベックは今日は 75% で、That we have to use Bane. えー、このゲームのフレームレートは60だけど、ランスは2フレームで回すので、えー、1秒で、えー、10で回しのランス。We're generally getting at the yeah, absolute minimum of those us. roll sizes, and that helps with the turn order, especially because the fewer monsters on screen, the more likely the monsters in the front are going to have no person in that slot. So, this is the first That's right, and there's actually a loading frame. Every, every enemy in the battle takes one extra frame to load. So, we save a little time, and you know, saving the frames is what the tasking is all about. All right, and it is time for the last boss. We got a Bane Sword, that would instantly kill us. That would be no fun. No fun, no fun at all. So we're going to use a different mechanic. So, when I was there, I was in fear of the 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 fear. えー、映像できない以上、ステータス以上を使って、そして、フィア4回を使って、恐怖を与えます。そして、その恐怖で、えー、恐怖4回で、えー、恐怖4回与えたら、ロスボスが逃げます。ダウンアウェイ。それは面白いものです。ジジです。ジジ。そのベンの剣を使っても即死できるけど、その恐怖を。Best entry point possible is Discord.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.tas.
えー、タスタスボットによるファイナルファンタジーでした。え、ここでですね、え、モデレーターの方交代いたしますので、え、今しばらく私の、え、私90番は、え、一旦ここまでとなります。ありがとうございました。では、失礼します。では、失礼します。we have been RPG Limit Break 2019, sponsored by Twitch, and I will see you on the other side of this advertisement.